Welcome back, guys, to another passed. episode of but our Order, Order 1886. In its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion. The rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay! The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Man, this game truly does have some uh, some insanely long cutscenes. Looks like we can't walk past those guys, so we'll go this way. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the Council's wisdom? Yes. Lord Chancellor. She's getting scolded. All right. Let's get out of here. Do you believe the evidence enough to warrant our involvement? Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may? Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. He's a risk taker. Remains off limits. That is 
Officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. Let's do it, baby. I'm pumped! When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. The cutscenes are so long in this game, dude. Mallory's always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known Holy a better crap. man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. <laughs> What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. All right. At your service, Sir Gallagher. This way, please. Follow oh, Tesla. Tesla. Just the man. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Is this like a weapons maker or something? He seems like some sort of engineer dude or something like that. I don't know. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? The police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. <laughs> All right. Tesla Laboratory, Catacombs of Westminster. All right, so uh, explore Tesla's lab. Use L2 and R to focus on details. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot. <laughs> your devil horns on him. It's a very interesting lab you got here, bro. Ooh, what's this? Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. No clue what that thing is. There's something over here. More gibberish to me. I like how you can move things around in your hand. That's kind of cool. You can pick up a new gun. Did in the last episode, a couple episodes ago. Got a shooting range here. Got a new weapon for me to try out, or what's up? Aha! Where's this? gun that we used to kill the uh, monster last episode. Please, this way. Which way? Oh, right here. Here is something you may find interesting. 
This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Cool! It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. <laughs> Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Okay. All right, click L3 to lock the left tube, click R3 to lock the right tube. Now you gotta hold them. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. Nice. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest Wednesday. Is that a sniper rifle? Hell SC64 yeah! Four marksman carbine. Impressive. That scope. Always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Dope. This is exciting. All right. Hell to look over this thing. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and use it. Gosh, this game is beautiful. Recoil is sharp. Click R3 to toggle scope magnification on and off. Good shot. L3 to steady your aim, okay, just like in COD. This thing is sick. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. Oh, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. <laughs> Monoculars. I haven't seen one of those in a while. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. <laughs> I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. And Chapter 3, Inequalities. 15th day of October, 1886, District of Whitechapel. Here we go. Just there. Get to the hospital undetected. To that was before even my time. The city walls are yet to come up. Now you can smell white chapel, you see. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. All right, here we go. 
This way, monsieur. Watch out for the lichens. What's this? A smoking pipe. Still warm. Uh oh. Somebody's got to be around here. Oh, I heard it's coming and dipped out. Hello there, boys. Love it. We can do with an apple. <laughs> Peg him in the back of the head. He's able to look over the object, all right. Looks like an apple to me. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Paid him for his apple. Good man. Can we help this guy? <laughs> He's bleeding like a stuck pig, that one. Doesn't look good. Yeah, get it up. Stay down, you stupid geeks. A hanging? What the hell is going on? And how does our beloved queen? Show her consideration for us poor mortals by sending her precious knights to prowl our streets and violate our homes in the name of law and order. Where is the law, I ask you? Dead and buried. And where there is no law, the people must rise up. Rise up and fight to reclaim their rights. We've been spotted. Let's move. They tell you things have never been better. Shit. They tell you England. If we didn't wear crazy clothes that make us stand out like sore thumbs, we wouldn't be spotted so easily. Can we go through here? Someone's struggling up here. She's dead because of you! Aristocratic hands. What the hell? It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, Monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Say. Don't worry. You're safe now. Scumbag. We should head through this door. Uh oh. Okay, Stamford lockpick. Hold L2 to drive the air cylinder, exposing the tumbler pin position. Okay, while holding L2, slowly rotate R until the vibration diminishes at the shear line, then press R2 to engage the pin. That wasn't it. Oh, it, that was it. You just gotta do it three times. Nice! Well, that's badass. That's way better than a, uh, a paper clip and whatever else we use in Dying Light. 